Hey guys, welcome to part two of the banana tutorial. When last I left you, we had gotten the banana itself modeled and the uh, peeling for, for the un, unpeeling, unwrapping of the banana, uh, we got the peels, uh, the sections of the peel separated out. So now we're ready to try to get it uh, kind of animated. So let's build a rig. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to go into edit mode, center this banana up on its axis of rotation there, that little orange yellow dot so it's like that okay so now I'm gonna shift a I'm gonna add in an armature single bone and before I do anything else I like to set the armature uh, settings to be an x-ray so you can see it through the model that you're putting it on and then also wire and I prefer to use B bones tell you what let me turn those screencast keys back on there we go uh, B bones right here uh, in the uh, the data the object data tab right there B bone so nice and square and then you can you know Alt Control S to make it fatter or skinnier but anyways so let's move that down here to the base of the banana right there tab it in that mode edit mode grab the point there I'm gonna move it up to about where the peels start which is gonna be right there where the 3D cursor is. So we'll just do that, and that'll be the main controller bone for the banana. Just make it a little bigger. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and shift A to add another bone. And I'm just going to leave this one where it's at, because it's right there at the base of this peel. But I'm going to grab the top of it and drag it all the way up to the top, right there. And tell you what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and name these things, these bones here. This first one is just called bone. I'm going to name it banana base. All right, then we'll grab this one and call it peel one uh, actually call it peel one a so and then name this banana rig all right so now what i'm going to do go to the side view grab that point there of the peel one a move it over to the tip there and i'm going to grab it control alt s and then x twice so it scales it Actually, the opposite direction I was wanting to. I guess it's the Y axis. There we go. Control Alt S Y, and I can make it flatter. So it's visually more close to what we're wanting it to do. But we want more than just the one uh, bone there. So I'm going to W subdivide that a couple of times. Actually, let me do it three times. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and move that along to where it matches the curve of the banana and this one I'm gonna make it real small actually drag it a little further down just so when I add the curv curvature to this bone here it has a base to go off of so we'll just grab that move that over and then move these guys to match the curve of the banana so there we go alright so now these uh, since I named that peel 1a these are all gonna have different names so this one's pill 1A. I'm going to go ahead and rename it base. And then this one's 3, 2, 1. I'd rather it be 1, 2, 3. So let's name this one. Actually, let's go to the top. And we'll just call that one 4 for now because we can't have two of them named 1. So we'll go down here. 1. There we go. This one can stay 2. This one will pop back to 3. Pill 1A, 3. Actually, I don't need the A anymore because it just numbered them. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get that off of there. doesn't really matter as far as the actual construction of the banana goes, but it helps keep things um, you know, easier to, to, to read. So I'll move that down a little bit. That one just a bit. Alright, so we got this side. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and grab that, all of those, and I'm going to shift D to duplicate them. And then I'm going to SX negative 1 which is pretty much the same thing as going armature, um, where was it, mirror. So I'll drag that over, and now we have that side already. And that one's going to be peel 2, I'll go through and name them. Now, one thing you can do that's a little, a little easier sometimes than clicking the bone, renaming it, you can come over here in the, in the uh, oh, what is it called, the uh, outliner, and get the, the rig and then the names right there and just 
you know, expand all of those out. Then you can just double click in here, peel two, and get rid of those. Uh, that's going to be one, peel 201, peel two, two, peel two. Oh, three. There we go. So it's a little easier than clicking here. You can just click right there in the same area. Okay. So let's go ahead and duplicate that again. Let's go to our top view. I'm going to shift D and we're going to control shift, or let's see, control alt R. No, control R. There we go. Control R and 90, negative 90. It helps to see which direction they're facing if you turn on the axis here in the uh, object data tab there you can see which way they're gonna roll so there, it looks like they're gonna be when I when I peel the banana down they're gonna be rotating the bones are gonna be rotating on the Z axes so that looks good and the X axis is pointing out so I'll tell you what let's do on these on this side control R 180 and it'll flip them around so. Okay, so we'll go to our control one on the numpad to go to our rear view. And we'll grab all these bones there on that uh, back of the banana there. Control one. SX0. We'll flatten them up so they're not curving around anymore. They're still curving in this area, in this direction, but they're not bending like this one. So. Side view, get this bone drag it down. Looks like it's curving a little bit, or it's, it's rotated a little bit. I'd like it to be perfectly flat, so I'm going to control R and rotate that until it's nice and flat. And then these two as well need to do that. So, there we go. Okay, so now we've got almost there. Let's go ahead and grab these. Our side view, Shift D to duplicate those, and we'll just drag them forward. And then Control R 180, so they're flipped around. And now we can just move these into place on this side of the banana. Grab that back one there. Okay, so now we have our rig for our banana. Now we just need to attach the banana to it. Actually, one thing we can do: add one more bone here on this back one for that for the stem. Or is that going to be on the front side? That's going to be on the front side. So we'll add one more bone here on this front. Just E to extrude, just like when you're modeling. And then we will control R 90. That'll rotate it 90 degrees. Go ahead and control shift S X. Control shift S. Control alt S. And then X. Then we can scale it on the X axis there. Move that in place. There. And that'll be them. All right. So one more thing before we get out of here. Let's grab the bases of all of these uh, peels and grab all of those and then shift select that main bone, control P, and make sure you say keep offset. So now they're all connected. If we go to pose mode, they're all connected to that. So now we've got, let's make them a little skinnier. Control this just to scale them down a little bit so they're not overlapping quite so much. And there we go. And we can turn the axes off so it's not so cluttered in there. All right, so now we have our rig for the banana. Let's attach the banana to it. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to grab the banana itself, shift select the base there, control P. And I'm going to go ahead and say um, armature deform with empty groups. So there we go. And what that did was it added all of these bones to the banana vertex groups, but it didn't add any any weights to it. Okay, so I needed to, oh, I forgot to rename all those new bones. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So this one, expand that out, expand all those. This one's gonna be peel three base. Peel three base. This one's peel three one and what you, another thing you can do to make things a little quicker is just mouse over what you're wanting to uh, the, the name you're wanting control C and then you can just click into the one you want control V well that didn't do it 
I guess we can just do like that. There we go. And that'll be two. And then three. All right. And then this one will be four. We'll expand all those out. And then the stem. So I'll just name this peel four base. Okay. Oops. Peel four. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Peel four. Zero, zero, 001. Then shift home. Select all that. Control C. We'll just double click in there. Peel two. Peel four two. Peel four three. And then the stem. Okay, so those are all named a little better. Okay, so now we have uh, the banana with the with the vertex groups, and you see they automatically renamed on the banana when I renamed them in the in the rig because they're connected to it now. So um, this is handy because what I want to do is. Uh, manually tell the banana which vertices to add to the bone uh, hierarchy there, the um, influence. So if I would have just done bone heat, or not bone heat, but that's what I guess it used to be called. If I just used like automatic weights, it would have put like all of the peels onto this one, little, you know, a little bit of influence on all of them onto one. So I don't want to do that. I want to manually say. So what I'm going to do. Let's just go to our side view. Let's just select all of these down here. Just hit the C button and scroll my mouse wheel to get the, the influence selection painter there. Just select all of those there on the bottom. Banana base, I'm going to assign. Make sure your weight is at 1.0. 1.0. 1 .0. So now I can grab this row of vertices here. And that's going to be peel 1, 01, assign. I'm not going to add any to the base because basically it's just there for the bones, not necessarily for the, the mesh. So I'm not going to mess with that. So I'll just add that row of vertices to that peel one. Grab this row of vertices, assign that to peel two, this row, and then that final top row. So I'm going to hit the control plus to select that row there and then alt shift right click on that to deselect that. Or another thing we can do is just hit control minus since that's the end of it is not going to subtract from the selection anymore. So that's going to be peel one, three. So assign that. So now, if we were to grab this peel, rotate that out on the x-axis, just only on its own. Oh, it was on the z-axis, wasn't it? So I'm usually, yeah. So they go that and there. So the, only this peel is being deformed. If we would have done automatic weights, all these peels, little pieces of it would have moved along with that. So. <clears throat> So let's keep going. Grab the banana itself. I can. There we go. And let's move around to the back side. Grab that one. This is going to be peel three. Okay. So we're going to assign this to peel three o one. Assign. And this one's going to be peel three o two. Assign. And then we'll grab that loop there. Control plus. Control minus to select those two and then subtract that one. And it's going to be peel three. Assign. There we go. That one's done. And then this side is. Which side is this? Peel 2. Yeah. So it's Peel 201. So we'll go ahead and go with banana. So it's going to be select that one. Peel 201. Sign. Peel 202. I know it's 002, but I don't need to say 00, do I? So we'll go with Control Plus, Control Minus, and Peel 202. O3. There we go. And finally, I believe this is peel four. Yes. Process of elimination. So grab that one. Peel four O1. Assign. This one peel four O2. Assign. This is going to be a little bit different because we actually have the stem connected here. So I'm just going to come up in here and select both of those loops there and that's going to be peel 4 3 and then the rest of the vertices are going to be the stem so there we go so now we can move that and it's right now it's still rotating around that 3d cursor so i'm going to go control comma and when i rotate that you can see there so it looks like i missed part of the something there so let's tab back in and let's see what let's select everything that the stem is probably go ahead and assign that part to the stem as well Sign. And then uh, let's see, PL403. Let's see what all is that. 
Yeah, so we're missing that that next row down. So let's control plus. And then we can just use our selection painter C to deselect all these other ones and make sure that that's assigned on there. So now, there we go. Okay. So that is going to be it for part two, I believe. I'm a little 15 minutes rather than the 10 I was shooting for. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be good. Save that. And then next time we'll get into um, some action constraints. We'll, we'll animate the peel uh, with an action, set that as an action, because uh, what I want to do, you know, if I add in copy, uh, copy rotation, oops, wrong one. Control Shift C, copy, Control Alt C. Nope, Control Shift C. Yeah, there it is. Blind today. Uh, that will copy the rotation of this one, so I'll rotate the base. That one doesn't, because it needs to be local. Local. But you see, it doesn't quite bend as much as I would like, so I'm going to set these, I'm going to animate these individually and set an action constraint on there. So, anyways. So we'll save that, and that's going to be it for part two. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in part three.